take this cover off. We have to take the oil fill cap off first and grab the cover and just pull up and put the fill cap back on just so nothing falls in there. Disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen that up and slide that off. Take these two bolts out. Use a 17 millimeter socket. Disconnect this O2 sensor right above the transfer case and just slide that off. We can let that wire hang. We don't have to actually take the O2 sensor out. Remove these two nuts. Use a 15 millimeter socket. grab the pipe and just slide it down. You can support this out of the way. You don't have to take the pipe off completely. There's a flex right here. So you don't want to bend it too far, but if you leave it like that, it should be okay. You can just take a bungee cord and just find somewhere to hang it from so it won't fall off. Looks good right there. Disconnect the O2 sensor from up top and back. Just disconnect that lock. Slide the connector off. Just like that. And you can try to push the wires through down below so they don't get stuck on anything. Underneath here, these are the bolts. They're the nuts that you need to take off. There's two on the bottom, two on the top. They are somewhat tricky to get to, but it's not impossible. If you use some extensions and a 15 millimeter socket, you can definitely get these off. You might want to use a ratchet wrench. Take those off. These two on the left side, you can kind of get to them from right here. It's a little bit tricky. The other two, you're going to have to be a little creative with some extensions and some wobble sockets or some swivel sockets. There's not a whole lot of room in there. Do the best you can with this. You kind of got to be a contortionist a little bit to get to these bolts. Slide that down. Grab the converter. Oh, the nut fell down and just slide it out. There it is. Now take this O2 sensor off. You can use an O2 sensor socket or a 7 8 wrench. Loosen that up. Take it out. You want to transfer it over to the new one. The swapped over O2 sensor. And tighten it down. If you can get a torque wrench on here, torque this to 31 foot-pounds. And take the old gasket off. Just clean that up. You can wipe it down with a rag or even some, some sandpaper if you want to. And put the new gasket on. Line that up. And I'll slide the converter up. If you can, slide that O2 sensor wire up past the heater hose so that you can Attach that later. Slide that over the studs and make sure you have some of the nuts in your hand. And get the nuts started. And you want to torque these down to 15 foot pounds for the first pass and then 34 foot pounds for the second pass. If you can't get a torque wrench in there, just do the best you can. Now slide the gasket in place. Make sure you take the old gasket off and make sure that's cleaned up. You might have to use a scraper. Line this up. You're going to want to get some new bolts and nuts to line up. It's easiest to have the bolt come down and get the nut started. 
and tighten these down and tighten these down. And connect the O2 sensor. It's right above the differential. Right there. We attach the lock. And take the connector that's back here. You might have to fish it through if you didn't earlier. And connect it to the connector. Just like that. And add that little extra lock. Lock it in place and connect the negative battery terminal. Just snug it down, make sure it's tight. And reinstall the engine cover. Take the cap off again. Line this up. Lock it down the oil cap back on.